everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train. I finally went to Aldi and did my grocery shopping and it felt incredible. As you may have noticed, I haven't done a grocery haul here in a couple of weeks and that's because these past few weekends have been super busy. So a couple of weekends ago, we went to Cedar Point um, for a blogging convention. So I got to learn a lot about blogging and John and Allison rode a bunch of roller coasters. So because of that, I usually do my grocery shopping on Friday mornings, right? Well, we were really busy on Friday and I couldn't do my shopping then. So I ended up like doing a grocery pickup on Sunday evening. Now with my videos coming out on Monday mornings, that really didn't give me a lot of time to like record all the haul and then get the video out by the next morning. So I just didn't do it. And then last weekend, you may have seen from my post, but we went to Nashville and we did our debt-free scream on the Ramsey show. And again, we left on early Friday morning and then I got my groceries on, I, think, I believe it was Saturday evening. So again, I just, I just didn't make the video, but I am back and I'm excited to say that I actually went to Aldi for the first time since seriously like May. Uh, so like three or four months. I had been doing the grocery pickup with Allison since she was home from school. It was just a whole lot easier that way. And I was also experimenting with like how much energy am I using by going to the store and doing my shopping in store. I've noticed that, you know, when I do my shopping, I'll come home, do the recording, put everything away. And by that time, like my energy is gone. I think that's like a, a symptom of ADHD or whatever. Maybe it's just all in my head. I don't know, but that's how I've been feeling recently. But today I'm like, you know, I really should try Aldi again. A lot of, a lot of it is because it is really cheap, a whole lot cheaper than Walmart. And then I was doing Meyer for a couple of weeks, but then Meyer, I had a couple of issues with um, the items that they picked out, like for example, I put everything bagel seasoning on my list and he picked out everything bagels. And then there were a couple of other things that I don't, I don't know. I just maybe I just want to try Aldi again. Okay. But it did work out. We went, I went to Aldi and then I went to Kroger as well to get a couple of things. So let's just get into the haul now. Let's see what I bought. So looking at all of this, I am actually quite in shock at how much I was able to get at Aldi for the money I spent. I've missed Aldi so much. Okay, so I went to Aldi and Kroger in the same trip, but let's start with Aldi. So down here, I bought some flour tortillas. I am making breakfast burritos next week and a bag of apples. I can't believe this is only like $2 for a three pound bag. Amazing. And a ba or container of strawberries for Allison. This is just a bag of garden salad mix. We're having a salad one night with dinner. And back here, a box of Cheez-Its, Allison's request. Here is a bag of miniature marshmallows. I'm just making like a dessert that John is taking to a game night. And a bag of Italian style shredded cheese for a dinner. And a nachos Lunchable for Allison. And down here, just a bunch of bananas for breakfast and snacks. A, a bag of veggie straws back here. Then some vinegar. I was just about out of it. I use it a lot in cleaning and laundry. And down here, ooh, a bag of donut store blend coffee. And a big container of applesauce. I use this a lot in baking. And back here, some chocolate milk. I am going to drink this like after my runs. And back here is just a gallon of regular milk. Um, some canned goods, got two cans of mushrooms back here, and then a can of cream of chicken soup. I wanted cream of mushroom soup, but they were all out, so that one is fine. A can of pumpkin to keep the pantry stocked, and a can of diced tomatoes, also just for the pantry. A bag of egg noodles, so this is going in a uh, stroganoff dinner. Down here, just a like ham and cheese lunchable for Allison. A package of Italian style chicken sausages. This is gonna be like a main dish for dinner one night. And a snack selects pack, it's a three pack. So there is um, cheddar cheese, almonds, raisins, and white chocolate chunks, that's for Allison. And 
a jar of Alfredo sauce that's just going in the pantry because I used my other one last week. Here is two packages of vanilla yogurt. Those are for Allison to enjoy for breakfast and snacks. Then some rolled oats back here. I used up most of it this past week. And then frozen items. There's three bags of broccoli and then three bags of green beans. I have some popcorn chicken back here and I'm using it to make like chicken parmesan. So instead of like um, using chicken breast or whatever, I'm just roasting the popcorn chicken in the oven and putting it on top of spaghetti and sauce, something really easy. And plus Allison likes popcorn chicken, so that's good. Then a box of just um, garlic bread back here. Also two boxes of pasta. One of them is rotini, the other one is penne. I used a lot of pasta last week. Then back here, three boxes of these peanut, dark chocolate, and almond protein bars. I haven't been to my grocery outlet recently, so that's kind of to hold us over. And some pumpkin spice cream cheese. These are to go with the bagels that I eat with breakfast, like before my long runs. And a container of sour cream. Some regular non-fat Greek yogurt right here and two containers of cottage cheese. So that was all of Aldi. Um, Kroger had a good sale on soup and my, my main reason for going was to buy these honey stingers, the honey stinger waffles. I use these on my really long runs and Kroger is like the only place that has them and they're pretty cheap. So I got three of those. Um, like I said, Progresso soup was on sale for $1.25 each. So I got a can of the homestyle chicken, the hearty chicken and rotini, the chicken tortilla, and the Italian style wedding soup. So those are really good quick lunches. And then I just bought a two pack of the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. We were out of it. My total for this weekend was $118.62. So I am under budget. Our weekly budget is $125 a week. So I still have a little bit left over to go purchase a couple of things I may have forgotten or just random little things throughout the week. Now for the meal plan. So one night I am making an easy stroganoff. I am all about all the easy recipes. I have some ground turkey in the freezer, so I'm just gonna pull that out and then make a little sauce with it. I have the recipe down below that's linked and then any other recipes I have as well will be down there. And as you may have heard in the haul video, I am making a chicken Parmesan and I'm just using the popcorn chicken instead of like breading chicken myself and, and like baking it that way. Just a way to save time. And you know, it's fun. Allison likes popcorn chicken, it'll be fine. Then I bought those chicken sausages. That's gonna be our main dish. I'm gonna just cook those up on the grill. And then I was trying to clear out my pantry. All right, I, have, I had like all these different things and I may have said this before, but I was um, doing a video and it took out all the stuff and then decided on the things that I don't wanna keep in there anymore. So I have a container of orzo which is basically pasta it looks like rice but it's pasta so I'm just going to cook that as a side item and then use some of the frozen vegetables as well speaking of my pantry I am NOT filling it as full anymore now the problem with my pantry is that it is really really deep so if I want to get something I have to like reach all the way in there to, to grab what I need and it's really hard to see what's back in there so I'm no longer filling it like all the way. I am kind of pushing all the things up toward the front so I can see it better. And then I'm using a lot of plastic containers. So when I buy my pasta, I put it into like those little food storage containers. It helps keep them longer. It helps to keep out any bugs that may go in. So we used to have like these little moths that would make their way into our pantry and I'm paranoid about it. So I'm not keeping any open containers in there. We're going to put them all in those little containers. Okay, anyway, I got distracted. So next up on the list is burrito bowls and it's just, simple. Really whatever I have left over is what's going to go in there. So I usually throw together like black beans and rice, 
sour cream, cheese, salsa. If I have any lettuce left over, I'll use that. We also still have some things for sandwiches. I have some deli ham and bread and sliced cheese. So we might have that one week along with maybe one of the cans of soup or something. And then lastly, for breakfast, I am making breakfast burritos for John. Uh, I'm just making, uh, cooking up some eggs and then I have some turkey sausage links in the freezer. So I'll add that in there and then some cheese, whatever. I bought the tortillas, really simple. And then for me, I will probably make some kind of a baked oatmeal. I like breakfast burritos, but they won't keep me full and they're not my favorite. So I might make like banana bread baked oatmeal or something. So that's it for the grocery haul. I feel like I've been talking a lot, but I feel like the, the grocery haul videos are where I can kind of like uh, catch up with you guys and let you know what all is going on and things. Um, you can check me out on Instagram too. My link is down below. I am on my stories. I try to get on every day, but all the, the life stuff that I'm talking about here, I try to do on Instagram. So if you're interested in all that, make sure you follow me down below. And in the meantime, subscribe, like this video, ring that bell so you'll be notified when all my other videos come out. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later.